Hi guys, welcome back to the concluded part of the Movies app. In this particular model, uh, we are going to integrate the favorites whereby the users can uh, select a particular movie and uh, select it as a favorite and at the same time can uh, take it off from the favorite. This can only be done using SQLite database uh, in which uh, once a user click on a star icon, uh, it's actually going to uh, trigger the favorite and that particular movie will be saved uh, in the SQLite database which is right sitting on the device or an emulator. So uh, the users will have the ability to sort the grids of movie poster based on the favorite movies they actually selected. So without much ado, I'll be heading straight to Under Studio. Let's dive into the code and let's see how we're going to actually make this work. First of all, we need to in in incorporate a dependency which is actually uh, the favorite button, you know, the material favorite button. Afterwards, we're going to tweak uh, the UI which is the detail activity. This is actually going to sit in the detail activity and from there we'll be moving to the detail activity class to actually uh, integrate the button. That is on first click, you're going to actually select favorite and at that point in time, uh, the particular movie metadata will be saved to the database. So uh, you can also deselect probably on favorite. Uh, at that point in time too, that movie will be deleted from the SQLite database. So after that, you go to the main activity. On the settings uh, option, you can sort the grid of the launcher activity uh, based on the favorite movies. So that's just what we'll be doing in this particular module. So I'll be moving straight to BuildGradle, which is the module app, and I would like to integrate one other uh, library, which is uh, for the favorite button. We'll call Compa Comdirt. GitHub dot IV now material favorite button. This version seven okay. is going to be zero point one point four. That's the version, so I'm going to actually synchronize Gradle. Uh, so after there, I'll be adding straight to the layout, which is the resources, the layout, uh, the content detail, you know, that's actually housing uh, the detail page. So we'll have to make a slight tweak on that particular uh, layout, the content detail. Let's get to look at that. And uh, at first, we have, let's scroll up. We have a relative layout that actually uh, houses all other aspects of the attack. Whereby we have a linear layout that follows with a scroll view and a constraint layout to house uh, the complex UI. Now we have a text view for the title. We also have another text view for user resting and uh, we have for release date which follows after. And uh, we have for the plot synopsis. Now we're going to, uh, we have a thumbnail UI which is invisible. Uh, we have for the trailer and after the trailer we need to introduce the favorite button so i'm going to do it this way just follow me let me give you a, a preview of what we are having now i'm going to have uh the favorite button called which is cam dot get up you can see it over there now layout with the night we're going to maintain uh a static layout 100 dp for the width and for the height also 100 dp that's fine let's assign an id android id favorite protein and uh, we're going to align Android we call layout align parent right let me look at it, it should be somewhere there if it's not there let's move on 
layout align parent right to be true and we're going to now call the constraint the first constraint is going to be left off which is actually going to be art ID so it's actually going to be the left of the user rating want it to float now we're going to have another constraint that's going to be to bottom off top to bottom off plus ID which is also going to be the user rating uh, let's have another constraint this time is going to be bottom to top off layout bottom to top off same identifier which is user rating we have another one uh, left to right off left layer constraint left to right off same thing user rating um, um, the left to right off will be the release date we'll get to see it right there and uh, we have Android background which is actually going to be the color primary But there that's fine uh, let's get to look at the design view maybe something we can see okay that's uh let's get to look at it here that's it there you can see it it's actually sitting somewhere uh the favorite button and uh, the color primary So the first constraint here, uh, let's tweak this to right so that it's going to flow to the right. Let's make it right. All right. So we have it right. So we're going to have the uh, favorite button floated to the right. Uh, so it's actually going to sit closely to the user rating and also the release date. So that's fine. That's what we actually need. Uh, from here, I'll be adding straight to the detail activity. Where I'm going to actually integrate the favorite button detail activity. Let's get to look at what the detail activity is. If you can still remember, we have uh, all the calls, you know, whereby we actually passed in some uh, data right from the adapter, which was displayed, you know, for the, some intent rather, which was displayed with this. And at the same time, we also uh, made a JSON call for the trailer. You know we have trailer movie right there and now we're going to integrate uh, the material favorite uh, button so I'm actually going to actually uh, first of all create a field uh, which should uh, actually or uh, let's just head straight to the favorite and uh, we'll also need uh, SQLite so don't forget but let's first of all integrate the material button so we're actually going to do that right there in the onCreate method. Where's the onCreate? We have it set, and uh, it's going to be immediately before the init views. Let's have it somewhere here. So let me scroll up. That's fine. And let me declare the material favorite button. Give it an object of material favorite button. Nice. Let's give it something of this nature. Which equals to material favorite button find V by ID, which will actually be favorite button. 
now we will we'll need shared preferences to save the state so we'll call on shared preferences create an object shared preferences which will be equals to the preference manager get default shared preferences we pass get application context right there we'll move on now let's use the object of the button material figure button nice we call set on favorite change listener on favorite change listener and uh We instantiate new material favorite button and this time we're going to call on favorite change listener so on change so what's going to happen now we're going to uh, override A method called on favorite change so it's a public void to turns no value on favorite changed which takes in a parameter from the material favorite button called the button view And also a boolean this type of favorite. I see that, so that's fine. So now we're going to actually make a test here. That's if the state of the button is at favorite, we'll call the shared preferences editor. Equals to get shared preference, and uh, we'll point it to the package com dot Leroy Studios dot VR dot detail activity. That's fine. So from here we can. We've constructed that now let's have the mode private and we'll call the edit so let's move in uh, afterwards we're going to put you know some values into the editor so we're going to put some boolean say favorite added which will be true at that point in time we still call the editor commit the statement and we we call on a method called save favorite we'll get to look at that method later on there's a method that will actually save the metadata of this movie to the sqli database so that's this method called save favorite now let's make a snack bar to let us uh, know the progress. Let's make now it's a bottom view. Call added to favorite. So we'll know if uh, this is actually passed. You know. I call the snack bar length short. Let's make it short. And let's show it. Beautiful. The same thing we're going to do if it is not a favorite, but now it's just going to call a different uh, dimension. But let's see how we're going to do it. Now we need to pass in an integer of the movie ID, uh, which is actually going to be in the movie, uh, in the favorite DBL part. But we're going to get there after we might have integrated the material favorite button. Let's get called the shared preferences, editor, 
same thing we did which is called to get shared preferences to the package detail activity so we still need the mode private and uh, we get to call the edit just like that now we call the editor put boolean favorite removed as the reverse true or the editor commit also we need a stack bar and uh what about we need to make call the view which is the button view We're still passing the message removed from favorite or snack bar move from favorite shot I show that I show that Perfect. Now we've integrated the the favorite button, so we can easily see it now. Uh, anytime we we'll run this application to actually check what's happening. So after this, we'll be uh, integrating the database. What about we're going to create uh, a sort of contract to save the database name and tables that will be used, and we'll also need some method called uh, right there. So I'll actually create the structure and from there we're going to actually uh, finish up. So I'm going to create a sub package called data. And inside this package, I'm going to have a Java class called favorite contract. And another class called favorite db helper. Fine. In the db helper, we're going to have all the methods that was going to actually make uh, some of the commits, the delete, the save work. While in the contract, we're just going to have the fields for the table name and also the columns used. So let's uh, get started. Now let's have the public static finer class as an inner class called favorite ent entry which implements the base column. From the provider now let's have that done now we're going to have the public first field public static final string called table name which will be favorite as the table name favorite now um, let's get to copy this because we'll just be replicating and changing the values. The second one is going to be column movie ID. Which is called movie ID. The third one is going to be a column title.
which the value is going to be tied to. Let's have another one which is going to be user rating. The rating. Let's have another one, another one, which will be column post to part. Post to part. Now it's going to be post to part. The last one is going to be for the plot synopsis column plot synopsis. We call that overview. So these are the columns and the table name that we'll be using. Uh, so from here we'll look at the DB helper, we should be familiar with uh, SQLI database. If you have, if you haven't, please check out some of my videos uh, right there well, by explaining details on how to use or not to create SQLI database, how to do the create, read, update, and delete when it comes to using the inbuilt database from Android. We have, we're going to extend SQLite. So we head into the DB helper. Open helper. Can you see that? So let's have some fields quickly. The first one is private, static, final, string. So we're going to have the database name. Which is equals to favorite db. That's the name of the database. Let's have the version private static final integer called a database version which would be one. Let's have another field public static. Final string block tag, which is actually going to be favorite. Now let's have the SQLite open helper. DB handler, we may we might use it later on. And uh, SQLite database with a db. Now let's have a constructor public favorite db helper which will be the context called a super passing the database name all as another parameter and the version. That's fine. Now we call, we open up the database public void open now we do a log tag that database that's this we actually showed in the console a database is opened now we call the db equals to the db handler db handler get right with database Now, when we also close, we must have a corresponding close. Just let me copy this. So we just call that close instead of 
bringing up structure database closed db handler just say db handler let's close Beautiful. now from here we're going to have the uncreate of the sqlite database so let's have the structure at right public void create on SQLite database let's pass the objects and uh, get to create the structure so after the structure I would like to show you how the uh, favorite button is actually going to show on the detailed activity so from there we're going to finish up with uh, other methods like adding to the database and also getting all uh, data from the database so that's the two methods we're going to be doing that's adding and selecting all from the database so let's quickly have the structure uh, let's create a table you know let's create a table from there we'll be looking at that let's have a final this is how to create a table in sqlite string call give it a variable of create favorite table which equals to create table now we concatenate that with the favorite contract which calls on the favorite entry and the table name that's it so you just concatenate the semicolon the space with the power opening bracket parenthesis so you concatenate that now you can decide to call all other columns the first one will be favorite contract favorite entry now you call the id underscore id that's it concatenate set is an integer primary key which is auto increment next one entry column movie ID it's an integer data type karma continue now I can easily copy out this because we have something similar just only change a few things. Set of column ID is going to be column title and not integer, it's going to be text not null. Let's have another one. Now we're going to change the mobile ID to column, which is actually going to be user rating. Real, it's a real data type, not null. Another one. This time it's going to be column poster part. This is text, not small. The 
let's have another one which will be the plot synopsis it's also a text not null so we're going to close it this way first the closing parenthesis perfect so we've created the database at uh, the table rather now we call the SQLI database to execute this SQL statement which is the SQL create favorite table so that's just how to create a table when it comes to uh, SQLI database you know I will still need to implement some method which will actually be let's look at the methods we need to implement uh, let's implement those methods on upgrade we need the on upgrade method which is this uh, an upgrade you know, let's still make it empty we we'll get to uh, fixing the structure over there now the detail activity let's go back to detail activity uh, it's calling on save favorite for now let me just comment it out since we haven't actually created anyone and uh, that's fine so we have it set so I will actually be testing this I want you to see the favorite button and where the way it sits using the constraint layout here we go with the application uh, if you notice you can see the grids uh, and then also uh, once we click to have a detail page uh, you get to look at the favorite button can you see the favorite button does the button I'm actually making reference at so this button now a click on this make a swivel that's added to favorite if you notice so you can deselect remove from favorite but we've not actually uh, finished up the logic whereby it's actually going to save the metadata of this particular movie that's the picture of the beast which in, in uh uh involve the poster image uh, the title the user rating plot synopsis and so on to the sqli database so from there we can fetch it out again and sort it so that's the, the where the logic of this application is driving at so this is just what uh, the integration looks like and you see how we can we place it side by side uh inside a layout you know this is actually sitting beside the user rating and below the title and slightly above the release date so this has been done using uh, the coordinate or uh, the constraint layout so this is just it catch me up in the next and the last part of this video so we'll round off and we'll be able to have a full working movie application with no flaws thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't go anywhere stay glued for the last part of this uh, playlist bye bye for now